everyone, this is Jose Baeza and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to have a special topic here for you guys and that is how to build a strong business credit profile. So we're going to teach you how to build a strong credit profile so that you can get the very best rates and terms on your loans or even just credit lines. Before we get started, make sure that if you haven't done so yet, you click on the like and subscribe button so that you can go ahead and let the algorithm know that we are here and that we're going to help many more entrepreneurs out there and have them find us. Let's go ahead and get started you guys. The first thing I want to talk about is really building a strong credit profile and why is it important? Well, it's important because the best rates that are out there are going to be given to people that are shown as being responsible and that have proven that they have access to credit in their past or even just whether it's personal or business. So we want to make sure that we build your business credit profile so that you can get the better terms, the better rates, the higher amounts, and that's ultimately going to leverage to having a much better and more successful business. The second thing I want to talk about is really building a strong credit profile. It is important because it's going to allow you to leverage that so that you can get different types of credit lines, obtain trade lines. That's going to give your business way more credibility if you can go to a store and simply just put it on your account or put it on your trade line. It's going to not only help you grow your business because the cash doesn't have to come out of your pocket, but it's also going to allow you to basically build and establish rapport with that particular merchant or that account and that's gonna allow you to grow even further so there's so many different benefits to making sure that you have a strong credit profile the third thing I want to talk about is really the importance of keeping your credit utilization low not many people know this but what happens is when you start using your credit which you are given to right if you have a ten thousand dollar credit line or a credit card you're thinking hey I'm just gonna go ahead and use that ten thousand dollar credit card but see See, the thing is that when that happens, lenders are under the impression that you're living off of your credit cards or you're living off of that credit. And so you want to make sure that you don't give the wrong impression to these lenders. And so when that happens, when you start over utilizing your credit, it's going to impact your credit report. It's going to impact your credit profile. It's going to actually lower it down to where they're not going to extend them more credit. Sometimes they'll eliminate some of your credit. And then the worst thing of all is that your credit credit score will actually drop. So you want to make sure that you keep your credit utilization as low as possible, less than 30%. So that $10,000 credit card is not really a $10,000 credit card, it's really more like a $3,000 credit card. So you want to keep an eye on that. The fourth thing is that you want to make sure that you also check your credit very regularly, especially because there are certain errors that sometimes creditors do. Again, we are all people and even though AI has come into play, sometimes it's not really a good thing because see, with AI also comes out fraudulent activity. So you want to make sure that your credit is up to date, that there's no accidents that are being reported in your credit report. And also more importantly, that there's no fraudulent activity going on within your credit reports. You want to make sure that you're on top of it. Typically, you do get one for a copy of your free credit report on a yearly basis. So even if you haven't done so yet, make sure that you take advantage of that. Not all credit reports are the same. Credit karma is not the same as experience experian.com or some of these other or myfico.com so you want to make sure that you do get that from a very credible source preferably from the bureaus themselves but if not just keep in mind that you do still have to check your credit report to make sure that there's no mistakes the fifth thing I want to go over is make sure that you're considering working with vendors you want to consider working with vendors and suppliers such as Home Depot Lowe's some of these places that can extend credit towards your company towards your corporation you want to make sure that you're extending that you may not use it but again it also builds to your credit profile you want to make sure that you do anything even if you don't use it as much you still want to have that open because it will report under your credit report so you want to make sure that you have that in there and that's going to ultimately also help you paying off some of the original debts that you may have instead of putting it on the credit card you may have an account with that particular vendor where you can just simply pay it off over time and it's not going to really affect your credit utilization 
because some of them, again, there are more internal credit accounts. So you wanna make sure that you do establish relationships with vendors and you establish relationship with suppliers. The other thing that you wanna make sure is that if you do have a low credit score, it is very important to take the necessary steps to basically improve it. So that means that you're paying off outstanding debts, you're disputing any errors such as credit pulls or anything that may be affecting your credit, any collections, anything that, that may not affect you or you may not think that it's affecting you in your personal life, you still wanna make sure that those are taken off because when you do need the money, you wanna make sure that your credit is clean and tight so that when the lenders are looking at you, they don't see that collections from five or 10 years ago. You may say, well, Jose, it doesn't matter anymore. And you may be right, it may not matter anymore, but they can still see it. And keep in mind, it still matters, even if it's from years ago. You wanna make sure that they are eliminated from your report, that it looks squeaky clean. It's not gonna cost you nothing more than giving them a call or making an inquiry on their website so that they can possibly remove that. The last thing is we wanna keep in mind that building a strong business credit profile does take time and it is super important to be really patient and consistent in your efforts. You wanna establish and maintain really good credit and that's not easy. But see, sometimes people would much rather wait than to take action today and fix their credit or grow in their credit or open up that account or maybe take action and actually establish a relationship with that particular vendor. You wanna do it today, you wanna do it now because tomorrow you are going to wish that you would have started yesterday. And that's something that's very common that sometimes we leave things to chance. Three years from now, we, we wish that we would have cleaned up our credit because now we are actually ready to take out a loan or expand our business. So you wanna make sure that you take action today about some of the things that I mentioned, whether it's starting your credit, starting those relationships, and just get started, you guys. It's all about taking action. It's all about taking steps. That's what entrepreneurship is about. And I can encourage you that if you're interested in learning a little bit more about credit restoration, definitely reach out to us. We don't specialize in credit restoration. That's not what our company does. We specialize in raising money for businesses, but because credit restoration goes hand in hand with actually getting you a loan or getting you a business loan, we definitely know what the lenders are looking for. So we partnered up with a particular company that does all of our credit restoration for our clients, and we would be happy to go ahead and help you with that as well. So if that is the case, go to our website or go to our link that's on this video and reach out to us and see and ask us a lot of questions. We don't charge anything up front for a consultation. We believe that we can give out information and then later on, everything always works out and clients always come back to us. So having said that, you guys, this is Jose Baeza. It was a pleasure being with you guys. And again, if you haven't done so yet, make sure that you click on the like and subscribe button on the video so that others can find us. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.